Hi. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to integrate Crosswalk into your Ionic Framework uh, Android application um, using the Ionic CLI. So if, you, if you've been keeping up with my blog, uh, you'll know that I've done a previous tutorial, a, a very popular one uh, to point out, regarding uh, manual integration of the Crosswalk project into your Ionic Framework project. Uh, although it's not difficult, it is still um, a little time consuming. Uh, since the latest Ionic CLI release, they have now bundled the ability to add Crosswalk into your project. So the first thing that you want to do probably is check out which version of Ionic CLI you have. So you can do that by running Ionic-V. So the version that they introduced the crosswalk into is version 1.3.2. If you don't have if if you have a version lower than that, you probably want to upgrade your Ionic CLI. So the first thing that we want to do, we're going to run a project and it's we're basically going to add crosswalk and then run it in the simulator to prove that it worked. So let's go ahead and start a new Ionic framework project. So let's go do the following. All right, so let's go ahead and navigate into this project. And we're going to go ahead and add the Android platform. Now, Crosswalk is strictly for Android, but I'm going to go ahead and add the iOS platform too to prove that you can still have an iOS application. The Crosswalk just enhances your Android portion of the application. So we're going to go ahead and do Ionic Platform and iOS. And of course, you have to be on a Mac if you want to do iOS. That's, that's the one restriction. All right, with that done, now it's time to actually add Crosswalk to our Android platform. So we can do that by running the following. Ionic Browser Add Crosswalk. Now this could take a few minutes depending on the speed of your internet. Uh, the last time I did it, it took about two minutes. All right, so Cordova was successfully added uh, to the Android platform of our project. So let's go ahead and clear our terminal. The next thing that we want to do is we want to actually build the project. So let's go ahead and, and do Ionic Build Android. And what that's going to do is it's going to uh, build for Android using the crosswalk runtime. And we can open up our Ionic project. We can navigate to platforms, Android. And then we can navigate to uh, build. So inside the build directory, we're going to see all this generated stuff that was uh, generated during the Gradle build process and uh, it'll all appear in the outputs directory. So uh, by default, the build process with, with Crosswalk builds a combined file. So it combines two different architectures into the APK binary. It combines the x86 and the ARM7 version. Uh, so let's go ahead and install that onto our simulator. Oops. All right, now let's go ahead and open it. And you can see we have a perfectly functional uh, Android application, but it's using the crosswalk runtime, which is superior on older versions of Android. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to figure out, because let's say, for example, you don't want to distribute a 37 megabyte file to the Play Store. Maybe people's devices don't have a lot of memory. Uh, there is a way to split the APK file into both the x86 version 
and the ARM7 version. So that way you can upload them individually to Google Play. And you can go ahead and do that by, run, by running the following. Um, it's build multiple APKs equals true space ionic build Android. So what it's going to do, it's going to create two different APK files inside of this APK directory. And it does take a little longer to build than normal Android, but that's all right. All right, it completed. So here's the x86 version, and here is the ARM7 version. And if you go to properties, you can tell that it is a lot smaller. That one's 20 megabytes, and this one is 23 megabytes. So you can distribute them separately. It's uh, about half the size. Uh, and either way, your your users are going to get a much better experience when it comes to Android. And for iOS, it completely does not affect iOS in the slightest uh, because this is strictly for Android. If you did like this tutorial, uh, I would much appreciate it if you subscribed to my YouTube channel uh, or you can follow me on Twitter.